Hey guys, how you doing? Joe here. I'm pretty excited. I have an adventure ahead of me. I'm just sitting here on the side of the lake here. I camped here last night. Nice and peaceful this morning. Cooking up some breakfast before I embark on my adventure. I drove here yesterday afternoon. I got here probably around 4. I had just enough time to paddle my way in through a couple lakes and one long portage to get to this campsite here. You guys may recognize this campsite from uh, about a month ago. I did a camp here with my big pyramid tent. Well, this is as far as I've got into this area and I really want to explore. There's a series of a few lakes ahead of me that way. It's all crown land, means I can do pretty much whatever I want. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna spend the next few days here. I'm gonna set up a nice camp. I'm gonna fish if I can. If not, I have a couple meals. I have limited supplies. I have uh, my Hidden Woodsman backpack with me. We can go through everything I have later on. But uh, yeah, an ax, you know what I mean? Some real bushcrafty stuff. So I plan on having a really cool camp. Lots of axe use, lots of uh, exploring. I have to find a suitable spot for my camp still, and I don't know where that will be. And I have the option of so many different lakes and so many different shorelines and things like that, so that'll be a pretty cool adventure. So again, I'm just going to eat up breakfast here. Uh, looks like my water has done boiled. And, um, and get on my way. Man, it's windy. It's a, uh, it's a cloudy, breezy day. There is some sun. Whenever, whenever the clouds decide to blow away, I see some blue in the sky, so maybe it'll be an all right day. Regardless, we're going on to find our stationary camp. Hope the rain holds off. It's threatening quite a bit. I've come across this place here. It's pretty, it's very pretty, and it's open. Um, the wind is blowing the dark clouds that way. I'll show you here in a minute. But I don't know, man. I think I might post up here for tonight. It's not as far in as I wanted to go. I've only portaged and paddled into a couple more lakes. But I might just make a camp here today and just wait out the weather, see what it does, and then get a move on tomorrow and post up again. But uh, it's only it's only 12:30 today, so I still have a lot of time to make this place very comfortable, and I really like the looks of it. So I think I will post up here, explore this lake, see what's on. It's not a very big lake. If I can catch some fish, cool. If not, whatever, and I'll move move along tomorrow to my uh, stationary spot, which may only be a couple nights in one spot, or even a night. Who knows? I don't know how this is all going. We're just going by the, by uh, playing a ball by ear. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the gear out of the canoe and uh, set up a, a comfortable camp. Yeah, 
The, sun, the sky is looking pretty good now. Oh yeah, look at that. Glorious sun. Beautiful. So this is the location I've decided on. Uh, I'm gonna put my shelter here. I'll use this rock as a fire pit. Looks like it's been used before. Um, I'm gonna get these boughs for my bedding. I needed to move this, this tree down uh, away from this spot anyways to get some more space. I need a pole to set up my tarp with and I need boughs. So this one tree is doing three things. It's giving me space, giving me a pole and giving me these boughs as bedding. So uh, I'm going to cut it, but I'm going to cut it a little long and then we'll measure it up here in a second. So I'm looking for about chest height. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit on the long side. That way I have room to work with. And this, will, this will prop my tarp up. I do want to clean it up. Leave a couple uh, knobs, and it can be used as coat hooks or something like that. I just don't want to get—I want to get most of the pokies off, so I don't bang myself on them in the middle of the night. A little bit higher than chest height, but we have room to work with. So put this over here for now. I'll take the rest of the boughs off this. use all of it and I'm sure I can use the rest of this stock after too for something maybe a part of a tripod or pot hanger or something along those lines I gotta get a fire going and boil up some water, man. I ran out of the one liter that I had yesterday when I brought in. So I'll be boiling water for this trip. I'll go again, I'll go through all the gear I have here, which is not much. 
I'll go through it. I don't know, tomorrow or maybe later on today. All right, I got my oil skin tarp. Let's go set that up. If this doesn't fit here, we'll do it right on the other side. Just the wind was coming from this way. It'd be better to have my door on that side than the other way around. But if not, no big deal. Still needed that tree and everything, so. This is my second time using this tarp. Looks like it'll fit. That's pretty awesome. Might have some rocks in the way, but that's totally cool. We're gonna have to make up some stakes now, some heavy duty stakes. Shouldn't be a problem. Looking good. Looking good. I can have it super close to the fire because I have my bed roll and I have my uh, oil skin tarp, so all is well. Okay. I'm gonna set up a new shelter, a new tarp configuration that I've never done before. Uh, I've done similar things to it, but we're gonna to try to do the, the full out tent, the tarp tent out of it. So um, as these black flies show up and ping off of my face, we'll go cut some steaks. Just like I said, more uses for this. We can use this to make some steaks out of. stuff doesn't split as good as hardwood. Okay, yeah, that's sturdy enough. So I've got two there, three, four, might need a few more. All right, so from what I understand, we're pegging out the two um, second ones. So not the very corners with one in on each side on the back. So do that. And I'm hoping there's not too much rock underneath here where it'll actually let me peg these in pretty good because I think that there's gonna be a lot of tension on them when I pull them up. Okay, so that's there. Nice. Okay, that's in good. Put another one here on the second one. Uh oh, right into a rock. Got a rock right here, so maybe I'll just pull back and around a little bit. See if I can get it in there next to it. Nice. Okay, it's in there good. Okay, now I think we bring the front corners in to match where the back ones are set up. We put that right about there. There's a little bit of slack and go there. This is the first time I've ever tried doing this shelter, so we shall see how it goes. Bring this one in to where that one is, roughly bring it back a touch. This might even be too close, who knows. Okay, now I think I can peg, I think I can stand the, I think I can put the stick in. Okay, so this is much too long, let's just go chest height. Well, yeah, let's go, let's go face height and then we can fix it after. Good. 
thing about this tarp being canvas or wax cotton, whatever it is, oil skin, is that I don't have to worry about puncturing it with this or abrading it. So I think I put this on the second tie out in the middle. Yeah, this is too long still. So it's going to be there and I want it to be taut. So maybe we'll put it right, right about there and force it in. Force it in. to the best of my knowledge and tack out the sides. Well, it's basically done. I just have to put the finishing touches on it. It's still a little saggy. But we can fix that, no problem. So I'm just gonna tuck under here. Get this out of the rock, nice and neat. This I might be able to pull back a little bit now. Hammer that down here in a second. Get a little bit more tight, and I think what I'll do is pull either this, yeah, pull this back towards the tree behind, because if I pull from up here, it's not doing too much. Again, a really easy way to attach cordage to uh, tie outs. You just take it, double it over on itself, put it through the tab, and then run both pieces of the cord back through, keeping a hold of the small part in your hand, and then just tighten it down. And it's super easy to come off to and give ourselves a little bit more space. So even though this is a different tarp setup than I've ever done, it's all pretty universal, right? You've seen me do that trick before. It's just a different, uh, just a little bit different. Different setup. So we'll do the top line hitch up here again. That way, if it's windy and raining and stuff and it gets loose, we can just tighten it with the knot instead of having to read high it. Okay, let's see. Let's go on in and see. I might put another stake out there too. This looks pretty good. I don't hate it. Whoop! Man, look at those yellows in the hills. It's gorgeous. Okay, still not done the tarp tent. But this is the overall shape of it. It's got it's long in the back, longer than it is wide. So I imagine that's the way I'll sleep. You can sit right here and cook. Stay warm by the fire. Perfect. Okay, there is a couple more touch-ups I want to do to this to make it look even better and make it more useful. That's because that's what matters, right? got to get rid of this ugly flap here what we can do is either you can tie this up like this just kind of silly looking or you can tie these back to another tie out this one on this side that one on that side that's what we'll do and then I think I might even after that's done we'll see where this goes this might get tied back to that ridge pole too man that Sun is warm man what a day, what a day. So again, we'll use the trick we learned from old Joe. Ba bam son, right back to this tie out. We'll just do a, there's a little bit of a, you know what, you can even go to the, to the tab itself so that it doesn't slide up. There is a little bit of a, um, a lip on this wood, uh, a catch, so I can tie it to that too. Either way, lots of options. Get it nice and tight. Grab another piece of cordage. Good thing about this setup is, like, I didn't have to use any cordage at all for this. I did to make it stretch out bigger, but you can just use stakes and a pole, or stakes and a trekking pole, or stakes in your paddle, whatever. Works pretty good.
So tell me, tell me, what do you think is better? Tied right back here, looks kind of tight, or up like that, which I really prefer quite a bit. I'm going to get a little bit of rain coverage too if I'm sitting here cooking or whatever. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and tie it off to this tree behind you guys. And hopefully the paracord is up high enough off the fire that it won't melt. Oh yeah, that's the look right there. Gotta get it up high. Okay, okay. <laughs> Should be plenty high, right? There's the fire pit, there's the tarp. I mean, sorry, there's the cord. Yeah, we'll see anyway. We shall see. But look how awesome that looks now. <whistles> pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, a little shelter here, even if it's raining. I can sit by the fire, warm myself, cook, whatever the case may be. Man, I am happy. I like this. This is comfortable. There's about a million black flies in here, though. Maybe we'll get a fire going. I said I need to make some water probably about an hour ago at least. So, yeah, let's get this all sorted and get some water on. I am going to put those boughs in. I'm just throwing my bedroll in for now. I cleaned up this fire pit already a little bit and I grabbed some rocks while I was moving around. Um, I think I can really make this fire pit really substantial and I, I honestly would not put my nylon tent this close to this fire pit. So it's pretty cool man. It's uh, The tarp is coming in useful already. So the, again, if you guys didn't know this is from Bushcraft Spain. Uh, he sent me this for free so I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. If you want to get a hold of him, it's at Bushcraft Spain on Instagram. That's how I know to get a hold of him. So I'm going to build up um, some sidewalls, some decent sidewalls with these rocks, and maybe even a little bit more back uh, fire reflector type thing. There's a lot of rocks around to work with. Well, I couldn't have come at a better time. It's starting to rain. Just gonna throw everything in there for now and maybe I'll be able to show you why my gear. I will stay in there for a minute. Seems like it's passing again, but until it does, let's get in there. You know what, actually before I get in there, I want to put as many of these as I can get in there because they're as dry as they're going to be. It rained all last night, but they don't feel wet to the touch right now. 
And uh, if I leave these guys out here, then I'm gonna have to be laying on top of them wet. And I prefer not to do that. So I will take my little window here and make good use of it. Yeah, get all ready in case the rain actually stays. Which rain is maybe an overstatement right now. But, eh, and as soon as I say that, <laughs> I'm just trying to get off the uh, big stalks here. I don't want to lay on top of this big, thick stuff, right? What a nice view though, hey? Holy smokes, couldn't ask for anything better, really. Well, the sprinkling stopped for the most part. Surprise, surprise. But I just uh, made this bed in, in anticipation for being in here for a while. Anyways, I obviously need to get some boughs down here big time, because look at this drop. That's a big drop there. But other than that, pretty comfy. Oh. Anyway, I need, really still need water so bad. Let's get this fire going. Right, I need another rock and we'll get this fire going. So again, I think this bigger one would probably do better at the back. Oh yeah, look at that, meant for it. Meant for it, wow. Okay, I don't even know if this one's needed now. I'll just put it here to block the heat from my tarp, I guess. That's pretty slick though. I'll just make a line here. I'm gonna line this with small rocks, just as a little barrier, but nothing big, so because I want the heat to come bounce out, right? I don't want to block the heat. So just little rocks like this. Yep, just like that. Just because there's pine needles and stuff everywhere. Just trying to be safe. Okay, a few more and then I'm done. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's probably good. I'm happy with that. You know what I just remembered? I have to go paddle around to find some wood because I looked around and there's nothing here. It's all just red pine. So before we can even boil up some water, I have to go get firewood. And it's sprinkling again. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Well, before I head out, I do want to get all my uh, boughs in my shelter. Ooh, bonus rock. So collected all the small ones, I'm just going to put them here to build up my, uh, my foot area. 
don't want a sinky foot area, right? No one likes a sinky foot area. I'm happy. This is awesome. Bam, son. And then these can go underneath me more, or I can just leave them here to sit on. I'm gonna get a couple more arm loads. Look for a fallen tree or something, and uh, get a couple more arm loads and put them under me. But as it is now, sitting pretty. Shoreline is loaded with wood. Shouldn't be too big of an issue to get some. Sprinkling still. It's nothing crazy, but it's just a constant sprinkle. A little sprinkle, sprinkle. There's my island. And we've got the lake to all to ourselves for as long as we want. By that I mean you and me. Ourselves. Look at my hair. Parched. Okay, I gotta get wood. I'm pretty beat. All right, we'll grab some of these dead ones right here. Wow, that goes straight up. Holy contours. Okay, we'll get this guy. Maybe a couple other ones. dry get, get it up out of the water I'll have to cut it I'll have to buck it up actually into some sections maybe just two and I'll get me uh, two or three trees that'll be good for tonight probably actually there's two right here I can get ah. Wiped out. These rocks are mighty slippery. All right, that's probably good for those pieces. And then we'll get this one right next to it here. Gonna end up taking this stump as well. This is spruce, it's super hard. You can see that the, the bark is gone. It's very, very weathered and dry. It's a score, this piece. Just gotta watch the rock right here. I don't wanna be smelling what he's cooking, you know? I don't want none of what that rock's cooking. Ah! He bit me. The rock bit me. Wow. Oh man, it's worth it though. Look how tight those rings are. Tight rings, bro. Okay, that's two. Three. One more. Let's go back and get some water. And if this isn't enough, I can come back out. But I just really need to drink water water in my life check silver stripes <laughs> water in my life <laughs> all right 
I got my hole. Headed back home. Back to my island. It's not sprinkling. I'm getting hungry too. I have a steak for tonight. I gotta cook it tonight because uh, it won't be good anymore after that. So that'll be, that'll go down really well. And then after that I have mainly uh, rice. I do have one meal of um, uh, chili and some beans. But other than that, it's it's rice and veggies and jerky and stuff. And uh, maybe some fish, maybe. I shall see. You guys see those ducks? Okay, so just gonna make a quick pot hanger right now until later on when I have, uh, but I'm not dying of thirst. I'm gonna have a minute. Yeah, I can just go right there maybe, prop it up a little bit more. Yeah, I gotta fix this all up still. This has gotta be cut off. Peace. I've gotta find my lid to my pot. I'm just getting it on right now to start it because I am in need of water, like I've been saying. So I know that I'm not going to want to wait to, uh, for this water to cool down before I drink it, so I'm just going to make tea. And I'm in luck, there's a whole bunch of wintergreen, uh, not only leaves, but berries right here. So this will uh, make me a delicious tea. Well, half of my water cools, I can drink it, and then I'll, I'll wait for... I'll drink half tea, and I'll drink half cold water, or warm water. There we go. Okay, water's boiling. Cool. Colorful tea. Just poured it. Probably gonna be really hot stuff. Too hot. Too hot to drink. Excuse me. Oh, very winter greeny though. Oh. Mm. Oh, I can feel it going all the way down to my stomach. I'm beat, guys. I haven't had much to eat today. Maybe a couple pieces of jerky and a granola bar. Very, very, very little water to drink too. So it's five o'clock. I've used up most of that wood, but use up two of the four pieces. I'm gonna have to cut up some more right now and throw that on to get a uh you know what? I could pro no I could probably cook my steak right right on this. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll cook my steak right on this. I'll save that wood and then I'll have to go get some more wood after. But uh maybe I'll get my grill ready. I brought my little uh portable grill maybe I can get this some rocks ready for that to go on there because yeah that is kicking out the heat right now cool all right I'm starving ah oh, this is my soul of Siberia soul of Siberia Kuxa same one I've had for a few years um, I haven't seen that guy, Soul of Siberia, on Instagram in a long time.
Mmm, little winter green berry bonuses. Look how lovely that is. Oops. Look how lovely. Another cup. About ready to throw that steak on. Mmm. It's so good. It really is. No joshing. Can't seem to find my gloves at the moment. It's alright, I will find them after. Let me get this on. Excuse me. Ah! Gloves would help. Okay. Good? Yeah, boy. Ah, oh, it's hot. Imagine that. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to sit here, look out on the lake, enjoy our steak. Ah, didn't mean to rhyme. Happens all night. Okay, the steak is looking mighty fine, mighty fine, mighty fine. I think I'm losing my mind. You see the perfection. Perfection. Nice. It's a little, little overdone in the middle for me. That's all right though, see, yeah, there we go. That's about perfect right there. Super happy with that. But, you know what? Happy with the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, oh. All right guys, this first bite. So very good. Man, I needed this. Wow, it's good. No tripper with me, so I get to eat the whole thing this time. Bonus. I do miss the little guy running around. The fat absorbs the smoke flavor so much. Mm. Such a cool scene. Actually, all around me is. This really is a gorgeous spot and a great day. I didn't know how it was going to go at first. Woke up. It was pretty stormy. I stayed in bed till like, I think, 9. drink almost this whole pot of water now. It's not warm anymore. Still got my leaves and stuff in there though.
It's getting chilly. Threw on my toque. I'm going to throw on my sweater. I like having a big wool sweater like this. It really, really helps. Normally, I'm going super lightweight, you know? And, like, I'll bring puffy jackets, down jackets, and wind blockers, and layers, and merino wool, tight shirts and stuff. But a nice, thick wool sweater. Man, nothing wrong with that. Super, super warm. Hugs you. And it's natural. It feels good. Feels good. I guarantee I'll get plenty warm sitting here. And we do have a jacket as well. Be able to get out and paddle, get some wood, maybe throw a line and see if I can get a fish. Just for fun. It'll give you something to do before it gets too dark. It's uh, 6 o'clock now. I'll lose light completely by 7.30, so we'll get some firewood along the way, too. Well, I'm going to put that big old dense piece in while I go. Cut up some rotten pieces, put those in, too. Hoping just to keep the good coal base going and have a nice easy time to start the fire when I get back. Well, I paddled across the lake here. No fish. Surprise, surprise. It's starting to be a, a theme. But I came over to this shore where the sun is shining, or sun is hitting, and it's really pretty. But look what I found. A score right back there. This shoreline is pretty cool, too. Look at this. All natural. It's no cement, boys and girls. Pretty cool. This is a score. This is gonna be super good firewood. This will last a long time. Oh, this is all pitch. This is all pine, pine pitch, like a uh, fatwood type thing. At least this part is where I'm cutting. Oh, wow. Get ready for a rockin' orange fire tonight, boys and girls. Goodness, it's like wax. It's like wax. Look at that. Smell o vision. Again, come on, Elon. That's Vicks Vapo rub right there. No joke. Rub that on your chest when you're not feeling good. Okay. Buck this up. Probably grab this one too. Man, how pretty is this? This is the forest. Open enough right here, but not a level spot to lay your head. That's for sure. Pretty, very pretty. I got a pretty decent haul. That uh, that that piece of fatwood I thought was it's not fatwood all the way up, so I cut the stump even lower. I got a good chunk of it, so it's uh, almost seven. Man, yeah, I'll troll again. Why not? Listen, I'm not. I don't know what's up. Like uh, this is um, maybe it's too cold. Listen, I don't understand. People ice fish, but then there's a time in between where. Turning over and it's not hot. Is that something? I don't know. Regardless, no fish Joe strikes again. And uh, I'm glad I'm not completely relying on fish. Although I had hoped for some for more meat. But that's all right. 
I do think I'll probably end up just staying at this camp. I don't really feel like cutting down a bunch more boughs to make another bed and things like that. I'll stay here and I'll, I'll go do day trips or maybe even, yeah, I'll go do, go do day trips from here. Go get under the other lake, see if I can catch any fish there. Or um, maybe even go on a little overnight away from this camp too and leave my camp here and just kind of rough it, bring my bedroll. Who knows? Again, well, I'll go, we'll it all be, uh, however it pans out, that's how it will be. Rolling, rolling easy this time. Plane. The plane boss. I'm just gonna paddle around. This is epic. I'm super happy being out here right now. Um, the sky is turning pink behind us. I'll show you that in a minute here. But uh, very calm, very peaceful. Loving it. Just me and my firewood, and you guys, of course. I imagine it'll be really pink before too long. Peak pink. Peak pink. Look at that. Oh man. My island's behind me here. The end of the lake is over here and it's got some pretty crazy gravel formations. Let's go paddle over there. Well, it's not gravel, it's boulders ranging from like, I don't know, two times the size of a basketball to baseballs and smaller, I'm sure. Goes up very high, very high. And that one's even bigger. Totally different than anything around here. Normally it's rock, like a solid rock, which that's what that is, but that's on top, I believe. And then no, this is a normal shoreline. All that rock is the same. You can see the water height difference there, the water line. Oop. But very different. It's cool. I missed this, just coming out in the canoe and chilling out at night. It's very peaceful. All right, back to camp, stoke up the fire, make some tea, chill out for a while, write in the journal, head to bed. I just saw a moose. Try to paddle up close to him, but he took off, and I can hear him crashing through the bush. He was across from my island on the mainland, walking about, I don't know, waist deep for us, for people. Uh, he was only really up to his, just his high legs, high thighs, as it were. Okay, I'm going back for real now. Who's that big piece that I put on before we left? The big solid piece. So it did its did the trick. I'll be able to blow this back into flames, I'm sure. Got a 
bunch of firewood, so I'm just trying to throw on some smaller pieces right now that I grabbed before before I go process any, just to get this fire going again. Headlamp hung up already, so nice and easy to find it. Look at all the ash in here. Woo. Man, this is going to be so cozy. The sun's going to come up right through my doorway, like just beam up right through here. So I'll wake up with the sun. That'd be awesome. All right, I'm going to stoke this fire up and get some tea on. It sounds like it's boiling. Yeah. Okay. We'll make up some chaga tea. All right, so we've got chaga here. And if I come across another piece of this while I'm out here, I'll certainly show you where it grows and what it looks like on the tree. But basically, it grows off the side of a white birch tree or a yellow birch tree, or some cases, beech and other trees, but for sure, birch. Looks like crap. But it's got super good uh, anti-cancer anti fighting properties and just all around super beneficial. You can even buy it in drug store or buy it in health food stores these days. So we're just going to take a chunk off and try and throw it in. The black stuff's actually better for tea, I'm told, and the inside's better for fire making, which is an it is an amazing fire starter for sure. You have to dry it out. This one's been drying it out for a little while at my house. Not too long. Oh, we got some of the inner. Get another chunk there and we'll throw it in. And uh, just let it simmer. You know, and we'll take, we'll keep drinking it over the course of a couple days. So we've got, you can reuse them once or twice. We've got three pieces like this. I don't want to get too, uh, too crushed up of pieces. I don't want like too much particles in there but yeah that looks good to me you're really supposed to simmer this low heat for a long time but uh, it's not a big deal either way I'll just cook that out there for 20 minutes or so start drinking it's actually a very enjoyable taste So this has been on there for quite some time now, maybe about 20 minutes, half an hour. I ended up cutting up all that wood, or some of the wood that I got, the big pieces. This is that fat wood piece. I'll show you in the morning. We'll split it up and maybe start the fire with that. Super waxy. But uh, yeah, I haven't touched the fire on purpose just so that it would have a slow rolling boil. Or a slow simmering boil, more likely. Man, I can't talk. I'm so tired. It needs to slowly be hot <laughs> rather than a quick boil, man. Anyways, I'm uh, I'm done waiting. I want to get to bed pretty soon anyway, so I am going to stoke this fire up and pour myself some chaga tea and sit by the fire for some time. 
before I go to bed. This has been a productive day, guys. Very happy about how today went. I was uh, kind of, um, not bummed out, but like, oh man, I wanted to go farther or whatever. But it just, this is the right call to make. And it doesn't really matter how far I get out there. Nobody's around and it's all pretty, pretty much the same, I think. But from here, we can go and do some day trips and uh, maybe even sneak out for the night away from here with just like minimal gear. I'll bring my uh, uh, bedroll or something. Who knows? That might happen, might not happen, but we'll definitely go check out the other lakes while we're just camped here. We'll have to make a proper pot hook tomorrow, maybe something a little bit different. Still haven't found my gloves, we'll have to do that tomorrow for sure. It's pretty high priority. She's boiling out the top there. So I'll let this cool a little bit, pour some, and then I'm going to keep it near the fire. Just. Uh, Roasting, just staying warm, still slowly cooking, slowly cooking out. This has got some of that fat wood in it. Let's throw this on and see if we get some decent orange flames. Oh, that flame is so orange and bright that I can use all natural light here to show you me pouring the chocolate tea. That's pretty awesome. I don't have to use any kind of flashlight or anything. Bam! Oh, you can see the color too. It looks like dark as coffee. So we're going to leave that real close to the fire like I said. Keep it, oh, keep it going slow. But as of now, we've got some tasty, healthy tea. Oh, I split the cup it looks like. Oh, cup is splitting at the top. Hmm. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll still use it till we can't anymore. So without a doubt, this is by far the hottest and highest the flame has been. And the paracord is barely warm. So I'm not concerned about that at all. Which is nice to know. Just got to get high up enough. And it could be higher. Actually, I could even put a stick over here to prop it up tomorrow to a forked stick. Not a bad idea. Look at that one log though. You can tell which log it is too, eh? That one right there. Burning like crazy. Burning like gasoline. Burning it all the way. Burning like gasoline. Nah. This just looks so very cool, doesn't it? Let's go sit inside the shelter and see uh, see how cool it looks from inside there. Well, I'm certainly not cold. This fire is radiating right back into here. Like, I can feel it back. I can feel it back as far as the camera is. Oh, she's splitting real bad. Mm. You know what? We might have to start drinking out of the pot because uh, I don't know if you can see how bad that is. But look, it did it before, but never up here like this. It just split 
laterally and it always healed itself back up but that's a bad bad split man it sucks I really like this kooksa it's unfortunate mmm chaga Man, that's good. It's hard to stop drinking it. I'll be interested to see if this heals itself like, like it was before, but that's that's a just ridiculous crack there. I didn't have that much of a capacity already, and that splits it in about half. Staying hot. Ah, piss. Don't worry. Be happy. Turn that frown upside down. Meow, meow, meow. Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad, bro? Why are you so sad, bro? Burning your friends. <laughs> yep. Look at that sap. Watching that hole there. The sap bubbling out. Boiling and bubbling out. See it? Just drying that chaga out even more. show you guys how it can be used for fire tomorrow maybe if it's dry enough I'm just killing this pot of chaga too I need it I need the water It's about time to turn in. Man, what a cool sight looking out at that fire. Oh, my back. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. There's so many little spiders in here. Well, today was a good day. Looking forward to what tomorrow brings. I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows where we'll end up. Who knows what will happen. That's a big part of the fun out here. Thank you guys for coming along with me so very many times. I will see you guys in the morning. I'm hoping to get up pretty early with the sun. Okay. Good night.